Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to another video. In today's video, as you can tell from the title, I'm going to be making up advent calendars for friends and family. So as you can see, I've got so much stuff behind me. It's all the bags of advent calendar stuff. Um, and yeah, I'm going to be going through them, picking up products, and then I'm going to make up the advent calendars for... I'm going to do one for my mum, one for my sister, and two for my friends. Um, I'm going to be doing some other boxes as well, closer to Christmas, but I'm not going to do those in this video. But yeah, I'm so, so excited to be filming this because I can finally tidy this room because there's been so many calendars and products everywhere it's just been so messy but now I can finally tidy it ah, and it's just gonna be so nice again so yeah so that's what we're doing in today's video if you are excited to see what I put in people's calendars um, and which calendars I'm reusing what kind of products I'm gonna be sharing then please keep watching and um, also give this video a thumbs up please if you do enjoy it and also hit subscribe and let's dive into it then so as you know I bought 27 advent calendars well i've bought 24 advent calendars but i've had 27 in total so there's a lot of products like can you see these bags and every time i film i have to move these bags out the room to move back in and oh it's just such a faff but yeah these are absolutely ram jam full and obviously i can't use all these products myself which is why i do these advent calendars for people because it's a nice little christmas gift and just sharing the products really um so the calendars that I'm going to be reusing are these ones. Now I've chosen these because, oh that's better. Okay, yeah, so these are the calendars I'm going to be reusing. Um, so I've actually gone for, I mean I can take the sleeve off this, the Harvey Nicks one, um, the L Advent Calendar, the White Company, and John Lewis, that's got a sleeve on as well. Now I've gone for these because the drawers are very easy to open, they're very sturdy, they're not flimsy or anything, and they're just generally nice sturdy advent calendars that are really really good for reusing now obviously you can reuse the other advent calendars but i'm not going to be reusing all of them so the ones that i am reusing i've chosen the sturdy ones um because other ones like the sephora one the look fantastic one you can reuse them but they're just a little bit more flimsy than these ones so i've just chosen these ones because they're sturdy because they're nice so yeah right what i'm going to do first is empty all these products out i'm going to move these calendars out of the way empty these out and put them into sections, into categories. So I'm going to do skincare, makeup, hair care, bath and body care, and just other bits. And then try and separate them further, maybe, to like cleansers, moisturizers, and stuff like that to see what I've got. And then pick out the things that I definitely want to keep because obviously I've bought all these products myself. So I do want to keep a lot of them and try a lot of them. And I don't have to give everything away. I don't have to give anything away, but I'm giving quite a lot away. Um, but yeah, where these products like, for example, Elemis. Nope, no Elemis product is living here. Unless it's to my mum, because she likes Elemis. Um, but yeah, those, those are all my products and I'm going to use all those. Um, same with like Bum Bum Creams. They're all staying here. I will use all of them. So yeah, I might prop you up somewhere and do a bit of a time lapse. I don't know where you're going to go though, but yeah. Okay, so let's crack on. I always know that. Hey. You got to roll. Here we go. Okay, so this is only three of the bags so far. So this is all the makeup. This is all the skincare. That is insane. These is all body care, hair care, and then fragrances as well. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start picking up the things that I definitely want to keep, and I'm just going to put them up there and then put them like separately, and then unload this next bag. You know I'm here for you. actually way harder than I thought it would be there's so much stuff so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna grab a calendar and just start filling it and just do it that way because there's just too much stuff otherwise I'm just drowning in it so I'm gonna use this Harvey Nicks one for my sister so I'm just gonna pop this up here okay now what I'm gonna do first for my sister is pick out products that I know she likes that I know she will like in a calendar so I'm gonna do that first so first we've got some Beauty Works products so there's the shampoo and the conditioner there also got a mask. Um, she likes that, so I'll pop that 
in. Um, Antifrizz serum, yeah, she'll like that as well. Butter cream. Don't think she uses that. Hair perfume. Have that one. Uh, yeah, she won't use that one. Okay, so what else will she like? Okay, these are the products then that I picked out so far for my sister. Um, it's actually pretty hard to just pick out on film, so I've just kind of made a selection. Um, I think there's about 34 products here and a bunch of invisible bubbles there. So I'm just going to try and see if these actually fit. So I'm not sure if they'll all fit in that calendar either. Um, yes, yeah, so we may need to reassess. But yeah, so this is what we're going for then. We've got this Charlotte Tilbury Youth Glow, Youth Glow, what's it, Primer? Yeah, Glowing Primer. The Mirage Intense Recovery Cream, the full size one. Uh, primer from This Works. I think she's used it before and she likes it. Um, these two little Cetaphil Essentials. Um, a MAC lipstick in the shade The Revolution Eyeshadow Palette. The We Are Pyrox Room and Conditioner. The Eye Plump from Ibe. The Cucho one. Uh, a couple of mascaras I've gone for a Fenty Beauty one and a Bobbi Brown. Um, this is the MAC eyeshadow from the um, Black Friday kit. Now there is another one to go with this, but it's in this pile somewhere. These are the ones that where they're basically duplicates. That's one of them there. Um, a NARS Orgasm Blush. Um, I thought she might quite like this. Paula's Choice BHA Lip Exfoliant. Uh, we've got a full size of the The Real Magnet Mascara from Benefit. Um, Colour Wow Dream Coat, she absolutely loves that. A little beauty blender, I've already got this one and it's nice. Uh, yeah, a bunch of Invisi Bubbles here. These are the kind of colours she will wear. So that's what I've gone for and I've gone for one of the scrunchy ones as well. Um, the Nip and Fab Salicylic Scrub. The Ren Tonic. Uh, Walida Skin Food, um, got a full size Olaplex in, the Nip and Fab Tonic, this is the Beauty Works um, hair perfume, it's a brand new one, new product I mean, uh, this oil from Beauty Works, we've got a frizz, anti-frizz thing, shampoo and conditioner mask, um, hand cream, uh, that sounds really good but I think she'll like that, and mini of the Bum Bum Cream, I do share. These two Spectrum makeup brushes, these are really nice, um, but yeah, I don't really need them. So them there and a Lancome serum. I feel like it's missing something but I'm now going to try and pop it all in there and see if it fits. So I've just added in the Oscar Renaissance Mask, the Clinique Moisture Surge, this little Luna um, Hyaluronic Serum, um, the Foreo device and I'm also going to pop in the Retinol from the Inky List that's in the Boot Showstop. I've not finished content on that yet so I'll add that one in at the end. But yeah I feel like we need some more eyeshadow or something. What else can we add in? I need the other, is this the new one? Oh, that's the other, that's the other MAC one. Add that one in there. Um, she doesn't really wear eyeliner. Um, okay, let's give her the MAC lip gloss as well. Right, I'm going to try and pop it all in the calendar now and then we'll actually see it. I'm also going to pop in this um, Advanced Night Repair because I know she likes this as well um, so I just need to find where to put it so this just won't fit in even in the biggest drawer which was 15 so I'm just going to have to give it that separately um, I usually do another little like hamper thing for her um, for Christmas anyway so I'll pop it in there but so on day one let's see if things flow day one we've got the Paula's Choice um, plus a Fenty Mascara. Day two, Picuccio Eye Cream, and then a Lancome Serum. Um, day, day three is the Clinique Moisture Surge. I might actually pop the serum in there because of the gap. We've got the serum and a moisturizer on day three. Day four, day four is here. We've got an Olaplex. Day five, big one. Got the Beauty Works hair perfume. Day six up here, we've got the two little seat fills plus a makeup sponge, Beauty Blender. Seven up here, we've got 
the Ren Daily AHA Tonic. Um, eight is here. We've got the Foreo device. Um, number nine. Over here we've got the Charlotte Tilbury Primer. Day ten. We've got Beauty Works Anti Frizz Serum. Eleven. Um, Beauty Works Mask. So a different hair product. Twelve. Here we've got the This Works Primer. NARS blush and also a little bit of 13 down here we've got the Nip and Fab tonic 14 we've got the Nip and Fab oh we've got 13 we've got two Nip and Fabs haven't we let's swap 11 so how to help these right let's swap that we had two beauty words didn't we so let's swap that with that so day 14 we've now got the mask. Okay, day 15 is this one. We've got hand cream, two makeup brushes, and a full size mascara. Um 16, we've got the shampoo and conditioner. 17 here, we've got Sunday Riley Luna Retinol Serum and then also some new bigger bubbles. Um 18. 18 is here, we've got a Revolution eyeshadow palette. It looks a bit lonely in there, doesn't it? Let's pop in the nice cinnamide serum as well from the old mirror. Pop that. That's 18. Um, 19 up here. We've got the Hyaluronic Serum from Evolve. 20. Here. Um, we are Paradox 3 in 1 Commission. 21. We've got the Oscar Renaissance Mask. Um, 22. Here. Beauty Works Oil plus two little blue bubbles. 23. We've got the Mirage Intense Recovery Cream plus a scrunchie. 24. Here. And for Christmas Eve, we've got the MAC Lip Glass and a Bobbi Brown Mascara. And then day 25. Jam packed in here, so we've got the two eyeshadows from MAC. We've got the Dream Coat, we've got the MAC um, lipstick, and I've also put a mini bum bum cream in there as well. So, that I think is not bad. So, I'm also going to pop in the retina when I get that out of the boots box. Um, but other than that, that is done for now. So, that is my sister's done and dusted. I'm going to leave that to one side now. So, this is the calendar that I'm going to do for my mum. Now, my mum is a little bit trickier to put together a calendar for because she uses like specific products. But I know that this is one of her favorite cleansers, so I'm gonna pop that in. She absolutely loves Falaga, so I'm gonna pop those in. Um, I don't think she's tried this yet, but she will like it, so I'll put that in. Uh, Clarins hand cream, a little mascara from Bobbi Brown. This is her favorite MAC lipstick, it's Velvet Teddy, so pop that in. And then also this nail varnish. Um, usually she uses OPI Nail Envy, but she might want to try this, so I'll pop that in as well. I'm just gonna go through everything else and try and pick out some more products that are suitable for my mum. Okay, this is what I've got so far. I've added a few things, but what I'm gonna do is put those to one side and do one of my friends and then come back to this at the end, I think, when there's less stuff on the floor so I can see things a bit clearer. So these are all the products that I picked for the second calendar, or third calendar? Third, the first one of my friends. But because these are quite tall, they're not gonna fit in here, so. I've got the self this one because these have got some big drawers in because this was in one of them. So I'm just gonna switch that over and then fill the calendar up. Okay, this is much better so we can definitely work with this now. So, first of all, let's put the bigger products in. So the biggest product is this Pixie Rose Body Polish. That can go in number nine here. That is massive. Um, we've also got this Gingham Bath and Body Works shower gel. That can go in, hmm, let's do day five. We'll have to take all the, the stuff out there. Oh no, it doesn't fit. <gasps> hmm. Do it a bit sideways on this one. Doesn't even fit in there. Uh, okay, can we have a double door maybe? Try and fit that one in and squeeze that one on the side. Yes, right. Uh, they're a double door then. That'll, that'll do. 
That fits. Okay, next this is huge. Pop it in there. Oof, just. Okay, so I can pop a bit of this stuff back in there. I don't need to make a lift the calendar side to push that in. Ah, oh, it fits. Good. Okay. Um, next big product then is this. So this can be in day five. I'm gonna fold this over like that. Okay, that's in day five. So that's good. Okay, next big product. Um, I'm gonna put this collagen. This is quite a big box, isn't it? Oh, that could be day um, 10. Okay, so that, that's all the big ones then really. So I'm just gonna fill this up now and then I'll show you what I've put in each drawer. Okay, we've definitely got some gaps. So let's go through and see where we can put the rest of these products. We're taking that stuff out. So day one, we've got the Revolution uh, blush. Day two, we've got Emma Hardy facial oil. Let's also put in the Dermalogica Daily Microfolian. Like that. Day three is up here. We've got a facial cleanser. Day four is up here. We've got a mascara. We can pop some else in here, can't we? Should we also put in the Elemis Glow Priming Moisturiser? Okay. Day five is the front body. That's full. Day six is up here. We've got the Wishful. Um, okay. Let's also put in the Dermalogica Special Cleansing Gel in that one. Um, number seven. Seven is here. Oh, seven's empty, that's good. Okay, so we're gonna pop the Shane Blue perfume in seven with the Cetaphil um, cluster. Good. And number eight, we've got the Revolution powder, nine. Tonight we've got the Pixie body polish and then also the body wash from Bath and Body Works. 10 is this one here. So in here we've got the um, Aurelia oil plus the Feed Glow Collagen, which is right at the bottom. Uh, 11, down here is the scrub. It's very, very full, so I'm not gonna try and open that. Um, 12, 12 is here, and we've got, oh, that literally is so full. Um, a face serum. 13 is down here. Oh, another empty one, okay, we can have the pixie. Hmm, I need to swap some things around, I think. That doesn't really fit. Okay, let's get something from... It's empty as well. I guess we can go in there. It's fine. Where have we got the double ones? Mascara fits in there. Okay, so I've moved the mascara from number 4 to number 13 because that now fits. So number 4 is now the Elemis. 24. It can't just be a lip balm, that's fine, isn't it? Why is that Dermalogica product gone? Right, so 24 is that Okay, so that one's there. And that can go in there. So now we've just got this one spare. Okay, so where were we? So 13, we've got a mascara. 14, mm, here. Empty, right, so this one. Does it fit? No, that does not fit. Oh, right, where can we put this one then? Let's put in one of these. If we take that out, take all this stuff out. Still doesn't fit, oh my goodness. What about in this one? If we took all of this out, that'll fit in there. Right, okay, so, pop that back in. Yeah, that will fit, right, that can go in there. Right, um, so in number eight, we can have the powder. And 14, we can have this shampoo and conditioner. Right, 15 here. We've got some essential oil spray. Um, 16 here. Uh, the Pixie. 17 up here. We've got the Floral Street perfume. 18 is up here. We've got a White Company hand wash. Uh, 19 here we've got a hair mask 20 is now this one so this is the dry body oil but we need to put this in first I have to put that underneath and then put this one on top so put it in there we go right 21 is this one and this is an Elemis papyrin lime peel 
22 up here. And we've got a neon oil, facial oil. 23 here, we've got the Aromatherapy Associates candle. 24 at the bottom, we've got the Dermalogica Special Cleansing Gel Plus and the Balm. And in 25, we've got a perfume from Maison Francis Cote Dijon. We've got the Kate Somerville Exfoliate and then a Neon Deep Sea Color Spray. And there we go. Okay, so that works, everything fits. So that is another calendar done. So I'm going to move this and then get my other friend's calendar up here now and do the next one. Okay, for the next calendar, I'm using the White Company Advent Calendar. These are the few bits I picked out already. I already know that these are not going to fit, so I don't know what to do about those, but we will see what happens. So I'm just going to try and fit those in and then see what else I can also put in as well. Okay, so everything is in. I've got this little product here to put in as well, but it depends what door looks a little bit empty. Um, but yeah, so starting with day one, in day number one, we've got the Eve Blonde Rescue Mask. I've already got one of those, so I've put one in there. Day two, two down here, we've got a fragrance. It's the Maison Francis Kirk Dijon. Um, number three is here. In number three, we've got the Neon. Um, Perfect Night Sleep Pillow Mist. Number four, we've got the This Works Perfect Leg Skin Miracle. Day five. Here, we've got one of the fragrance. This is Hibiscus um, by Maison Crivelli. Number six, we've got the Augustina Spader, the face oil. And seven, we've got Philip Kingsley um, Frizz Fighting Gloss. Number eight, up here. We've got a fragrance from Floral Street. I might pop this moisturiser in there as well. Number nine, we've got the Bad Gal Bang Mascara. Um, she usually has lashes on, but it's good to have a mascara just in case. Um, 10, I've got a very jam-packed drawer. This is the Mud Masky Vitamin A Booster Blue Clay Mask. Only just fits, it's got to squash it in. Um, 11, down here. The Avant uh, Glycolic Acid Rejuvenating Face Exfoliator. Uh, 12, here. Um, Rodeal Soft Focus Glow Drops. 13, up here. We've got an LMS, this is the Superfood Day Cream. 14. Oh, backwards, aren't we? Kate Somerville, um, Exfoliate. Day 15. We've got the Coffee Scrub from Mind Tan. 16. Is the Avant Rose, what is it called? Sugar Lip Scrub, not Rose. Yeah, it's Rose Sugar Lip Scrub. 17. We've got the Olaplex number three. I know she likes that. 18 down here. We've got the Aurelia Balance and Purify Citrus Cleanser. 19 is up here. We've got the Dermalogica Daily Microfoliant Mini. 20. We've got this is Soothing Universal Repair Cream Light from Aroma Active Laboratories. 21. We've got the Zellens T Shop 22. Here. We've got the White Company Hand Lotion 23. Down here, we've got a Murad cleanser 24. So, Christmas Eve, we've got a little candle. This is from Rituals. It's the Savage Garden private collection. And then, day 25. Now, the Rodeo Cleanser does fit if you take it out of the box, which I'm sure she won't mind, so it's out of the box and that fits. And then also the Bubble Tea uh, Body Wash. That both fits in there nicely. So that's another calendar done. Done and dusted. So I just need to finish off my mum's now and then we should be done. Okay, we did it, we got there. So I filled the calendar for my mum, so just going through it then. Number one, we have Two little Falorga products because she wants Falorga. 
Number two is up here. And we've got a mini um, Bare Minerals Eye Cream. On day three, we've got the little hair clips so she can pin the hair out of her face or she can make up and stuff. Um, four, we've got the Augustinus Beta, the Rich Cream. Um, number five up here, we've got a fragrance from Duo, this is the new one. Number six, we've got a lipstick, so this is the Velvet Teddy lipstick, which is her favourite. Number seven, oh, we've got another eye cream, that's okay. Where was the other one? Number two, yeah, that's fine. Right. An eye cream in number seven. Number eight, we've got the In Transit Camera Close-Up Primer, very nice. And uh, number nine. We've got a Bobbi Brown Mascara, hidden at the bottom. Number ten, we've got a Molten Brown Cover Glass. Eleven, we've got an Elemis Night Cream. Twelve, we've got a Dr. Barbara Stone Face Cream. Thirteen, we've got a La Mer face cream. Oh, it's quite a quite similar all these, aren't they? Let's just swap this then, right? So thirteen, we've got the Avida Botanical Repair Leave-In Hair Treatment. Fourteen, this one here. We've got that nail varnish. Fifteen, Aromatherapy Associates Oil, like bath oil. Sixteen. We've got uh, an eyeliner, 17 up here. We've got a red nail varnish, 18. We've got another Dior fragrance, this is a favourite one. So we'll put that in there. Um, 19 down here. Which was the colour body cream, she likes the scent. 20 down here. We've got the Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Bar. 21. That's where we've got the Lumaire Moisturiser. 22. The Clarins Hand and Nail Cream. 23. Up here. We've got the. Oh, it's a hand scar, isn't it? Roll off the scar for the benefit. 24. We've got another MAC lipstick. I'll put this in. This is Avant Garnet. It's a dark red. That's nice for Christmas. And then 25, we've got a Rituals, Ritual Sakura hand cream. So there we go. That is everything in the calendar for my mum. I'm actually just going to add this one into my mum's as well because she does like that scent. Um, I also forgot to pop that in my friend, so I'm going to try and squeeze it in. Yeah, I think that was it. So I've still got obviously quite a lot of stuff. Um, this stuff here I'm going to donate because my sister asked me for some donations. Um, they're doing like a collection at the hospital for something, so I'm going to pop all this in um, so she can take that to work. But yeah, that's basically it. So obviously there's a lot of stuff like the MAC makeup and the Bare Minerals makeup where I've done a Get Ready With Me stuff, so use those products, so obviously I had to take those products out first. Um, but from what's left, I tried to pick out things that I know people will like because, I mean, when you get an advent calendar, obviously it's quite tricky because you probably won't like everything inside. So I try and pick products that I know they're going to like and then it's a perfect advent calendar for them. So yeah, I think that's what I've done. So hopefully they'll like them, I'm sure they will. But yeah, that is everything for today's video guys. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you found it interesting. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe. Um, let me know if you're going to be repurposing your advent calendar this year and if you've made any advent calendars up for your friends or family. And let me know what you think of the products that I put inside. So like I said, I will be doing a couple more boxes and stuff on the run up to Christmas, like little hampers and stuff. Um, so I'll probably put those in another video. And there will be some more giveaways coming up pretty soon as well, so keep your eyes peeled for those. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching guys, and I'll see you soon for another video.